So now let's talk about middle ear effusion as well. So we are just touching base on all the ear pain stuff that you need to know. So middle ear effusion, what are the features? There's fluid in the middle ear. And I want to show you a picture again. You know, looks like you have some air fluid level there. And there's no sign or symptom of ear infection. So the place is not red. Usually you see it in children. You see it in children usually, okay? And how would the child present? They may present with tinnitus, feeling of fullness in the ear. It may or may not be painful, but then they will be telling you, oh, my ear feels full. My ear feels full, okay? What are you going to see on otoscopy? So that's an otoscope. There may be discoloration of the ear eardrum. Um, an air fluid level may be found behind the tympanic membrane. You may see some air bubbles behind the tympanic membrane and retraction pockets of the tympanic membrane as well. And if you at times cause some insufflation, like putting some air in there, the, 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 the eardrum does not move. Immobile eardrum, okay? And how are you going to manage a patient with middle ear fusion? Most of the time, you don't give any antibiotics because it's not an infection. You monitor them for about three months. And then you can refer them for ENT um, to maybe get tubes um, depending on how the patient is doing. And if the patient may, is having maybe recurrent adenoid infections and tonsillectomy, ton, ton, tonsillitis, then they may do an adenectomy as well, aden adenoidectomy as well. That's middle ear fusion for you. What are the complications of a children with middle ear fusion? They may have speech delay. They may have learning problems. They may have chronic mastoiditis. They may have ossicular erosions, cholesteatoma, okay, retraction of the tympanic membrane, atelectasis in the middle ear, and ossicular fixation, like the three bones in the middle ear. They may be fixated to each other, okay? They may be fixed to each other.